Well, hello YouTube. Um, <laughs> it's like almost five o'clock in the morning, and I was just um getting up to go to the restroom, and on my way back trying to go to sleep, I had a thought about um a person that um asked me to do them a favor, you know, by lending them some money the other day, and they were gonna pay me back when they got their paycheck. Um. But, um, that didn't happen, of course, and I actually knew that it wouldn't happen, but, um, anyway, I saw them today, and they basically were avoiding me, I mean, they were, they almost got hit by a damn car trying to avoid me, <laughs> and I caught up with them, I was going in a totally different direction, but I caught up with them just to to let them know and this is exactly what I said to them and I wasn't being nasty or mean because that wasn't my demeanor I had no reason to be that way like I said I knew that they weren't going to pay me this money back but like I told them people like you will never understand why people like me do what we do like as far as you know extending ourselves to people and being nice because that's not your nature. It's not your nature to say, oh, I have $2 and you need a dollar, so I can spare you one. It's not in their nature to be like that. But if it was me and others like myself, it's not a problem for us because we feel like as long as I know that I would be okay or that I'll get back on my feet soon and I won't suffer too long, and I can afford to do whatever it is you need me to do or to lend you, then I'm going to do it. Because what they don't understand is, it's not about you. It could be a stranger on the street, just like when we're giving money to homeless people. It's because we can afford to do it, and we will want someone to do it for us. So like I told her, you would never understand it. You don't have to run from me, hide from me, because I'm going to speak to you when I see you, and I would appreciate it if you spoke to me too. I said, because I didn't lend you the money for you. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with the fact that if I was in your position, I would want someone to do that for me. And also, it was the right thing for me to do. I could afford to do that for you. So I felt like, hey, there's no problem. It had nothing to do with your story that you gave me the look on your face, the promises that you made, nothing to do with you. I don't block my blessings. And if more people understood that, they would really prosper mentally, physically, financially, everything. Because people are just so out for themselves and it's not about that. It's about doing what you can and doing what you will want to do. I'm sorry, doing what you would want someone else to do for you if you were in their position or any other position of destitute or need or emergency or whatever. Um, so yeah, I basically just woke up and was thinking, you know, had that on my mind. I was like, I have to share this because I'm sure there's people out there on YouTube that can relate to this. And maybe it's people out there, well, I'm sure there are that are on the other end, you know, that are thinking that they're getting over on people by asking for favors and money. But please know that if someone is kind and you recognize that and they're very giving and generous, it has not a damn thing to do with you or your sob story. They're doing it because that's in their heart. That's the way that they feel. They are just a genuine, um, empathetic person. It has it generally has nothing to do with the story. So, you know, people will spend hours concocting stories and schemes to get things. Honey, all you have to do is ask some people. They don't even have to know you or know you that well. And they're going to do for you because that's how they are and who they are as a person. It has nothing to do with you. All right. I'm going to try to go back to bed. Please, people, um share your thoughts on this. Thank you. Bye.